Hello there. I was hoping to make a cooking video inside this pit that I've dug here, but the wind is too strong and it's too cold. So it looks like we're going to be cooking inside the vestibule. I hope you'll join us. In the tent canvas, Christina's awake. The crucial ingredient, pork, frozen rock solid. We've had that in the tent for a couple of days here. It's all one big refrigerator up here. This is oil. Bit of cooking oil, sweetie. Cooking oil. So, is there any water in there? No, no water. No water. And then after uh, oil, the onion. Sweetie, do you think you could be the first Filipina to cook pork adobo in the snow like this? Yeah. I wonder if any other Filipinos have ever cooked this recipe in the snow. This is a Filipino recipe. One of the crucial ingredients is soy sauce. That is a lot of soy sauce. We'll probably be using about 100 mil. Absolutely packed with salt. <laughs> oh yeah, it smells beautiful. Excuse the sunburn on my face cam because I was doing a bit of snow hiking today. A lot of glare out here. Okay, and then after mixing onion in the pork, next is uh, soy sauce. You need the soy sauce. Soy sauce and then vinegar. So it's probably about 100 mil of soy sauce. Uh, and then oh yeah, look at that canvas. Vinegar. Beautiful. How much vinegar, sweetie? Just one cap? No. Two caps? How maybe, many caps? Maybe two. Three caps. Three caps of vinegar there. And then. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You're blocking the camera. I need to mix it again. Stare. I need to stare. And then next, pepper. Pepper. And then after we stare like that, we need to boiling now. Uh, Maybe 10 minutes or 10 minutes boil. 10 minutes gentle boiling? Yeah. <coughs> then we're putting uh, a little bit of uh, water. Bit of hot water in the pork adobo. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, canvas. Oh. <laughs> Pork adobo. Pork adobo in the snow.
<laughs> oh. You warm, Sully? We're waiting for a boiling. Then after we boiling that, we put this uh, potato, the last uh, ingredients. Beautiful. And then after that, we need to cook the rice, yeah? And then after that, cooking, the next is rice. Ricey rice. Uh, rice. Potato. The last ingredient we putting. That's a potato, huh? Get that. Yum. And then mix. Good at how to mix in. Look like yummy. Oh. <laughs> yummy, 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 yummy. I think we need uh, another water. More water? More water. Or enough. I think enough. Yeah, it's enough. Look at the burrito. Look at the camera. Tell the camera. <laughs> I said after that uh, pork adobe is boiling, that is ready. That's it. Ready to cook, uh, ready to eat it. You feeling warm now, sweetie? Now that you've got the down jacket on? Yeah, I feel warm now because of this jacket. You see here, it's cameras on the side of the tent. We're just absolutely being blasted by spindrift here. Yeah. I had to do a lot of work to make the vestibule spindrift proof so we could film this video. We've got some really intense wind. Taste? You want to taste it? No, you taste what you taste. No, you want to taste this onion. Ah, okay. Quick taste test, cameras. Huh? Good? Mm. <laughs> Good? Mm. It's good now. It's good? Yeah. This is a lot of water. Hot water and the rice ready to go, sweetie? Yeah, ready to go now. We're stirring the rice. As you can see, ventilation is extremely important in a snow tent. Sorry about all the steam, campers, but there you have it. Pork adobo in the snow. That wind would go away. Go away! <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us on this feast. Good morning. It's nine o'clock the next morning. We're kind of stuck in the tent right now. It's a white out outside. We're just waiting for the weather to clear. Nice opportunity to show you what it looks like up here when it is a white out. Just unzip this tent. As you can see, everything's buried again. The white out campers, nothing to see. Close it up. Just closing the internal.
faire un tour. So we've got enough food to stay here one more night if we have to. Got GPS compass. When the, when the weather conditions are like this in the morning, it's best to just wait till 12 o'clock. Once the sun is higher in the sky, it should dry the clouds out and hopefully we'll have enough visibility to make our way back to the car. Then, as you can see, there's really nothing to see. <laughs> oh my God, look at that. Probably half a meter of spin drift blocking this left side of the tent. Hope you enjoyed this cooking video. We'll see you next time. Happy camping.